If you've been playing Brookhaven for longer than five minutes, you should know that there's hundreds of glitches and secrets being discovered every single week. So many that I can't even remember half the secrets we've covered on this channel. So that is why in today's video, I will be covering 23 amazing secrets and glitches here in the land of Brookhaven. Previously, I showed you guys a way we can actually spawn cars on top of the ocean. All we needed to do is glitch out the jet to make us able to float, then spawn a car and we can drive it straight onto the water. Well, we can use this method to spawn cars on top of people's houses and it's so dang fun to use. First of all, we need to go ahead and spawn the military base. From here, we'll have access to the jet we need in order to perform this glitch. If you guys don't have premium, you can always steal someone else's. Anyway, we also need a friend or all the count to help us out with this. Say hello, bro. Hello. Let's go. Once we're above someone's house, you'll need to do a backflip and click the lower button on the jet. This basically allows us to jump and still hover above the ground. I'll record on my other account so you guys can easily see what's going on. Let's spawn the car. Wait, it's stuck. Here we go. Dang, I missed. You guys really need to get your aim right when doing this because it's super hard to get the car to land on the house. Let's try this one more time. It keeps flinging off. What if I try this in a public server? Someone's just spawned a brand new house right here. Let's ruin it. This one has to land correctly. It keeps flying off the roof. This is so annoying. It's a lot easier if we do this on a flat roof, making it way easier to control. If I do the glitch on top of this roof, it should just work a whole lot better. I just gotta keep spawning these cars until one of them eventually lands. Oh, yeah. Alright, this Bugatti landed. Let's see if we can get another to land. Well, this Ferrari did land, but it glitched through the floor. Now I can drive a car on someone else's roof and annoy the heck out of them. Hold on! I fell off the roof. If we lock the car, it's actually impossible for the house owner to move it. So it'll be stuck there forever. A while ago, I showed you guys how we could customize our cars to look super cool. Well, I've been seeing these Brookhaven drift cars going around easily. And I want to show you guys how we make them. We need to spawn this car right here. I believe this is actually the easiest car we can use to drift in. Now we gotta use the props to make this thing look so much better for drifting. We need a giant wing at the back. And we also need a giant head scoop to prove to people we got the power. Now let's make the car black and i'll also make the wheels red perfect now copy these settings in the car speed and now you'll be able to drift super easily this is so cool i saw a super cool stunt performed by someone in this red barn so let's see if i can beat that we need to basically <coughs> drift through the barn without damaging the car at all this is so dang hard dang it i feel like this one's gonna be a winner Holy cow! Did you guys see that? That was insane! Comment if you've seen a Brookhaven drift stunt as good as that. I'm now gonna call myself the Drift King. I think that deserves a like. There's been a bunch of debates recently about which game pass is better. The VIP pass or premium. I personally think VIP, but I've got my friend right here to give me a second opinion. Premium is so much better! What do you mean, bro? VIP is so much better. In VIP, we can get this super cool monster truck. Look at how much bigger and better it is to your regular car. I don't have the game pass. What do you mean you don't have the game pass? You're kicked up the video, bozo. I think the VIP cars are so much better. The premium cars are super cool, but they're not much different to the free ones. They just look a lot faster. We can even make it taller than this and make it so easy to ruin random people's cars. When we have premium, we can also use the chopper to fly through the air and the jets to go super fast through the game. That's definitely a better feature from the premium pass. You guys also gotta remember that VIP is a brand new game pass. So more will be added to it later down the line. Comment whatever game pass you guys think is the best. I'll try to respond to you guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last video I tried to do this speed glitch and it didn't work very well. Well this guy made a part 2 and this time we have to do some other tasks to get it to work. We need to start by spawning this car and sliding into it in first person. This basically glitches our camera to move wherever our character is looking. Now we need to grab a torch and we'll need to do the KO emote. Now equip the torch and stop doing the emote and we should jump super fast. I see myself a little glitched but I don't think we're going supersonic speed. The guy tried this in mobile, so let me try it that way too. Just need to glitch my camera with the car, do the KO emote, and equip the torch, and we should glitch out. I see myself glitched again, but I'm definitely not going fast. I think this does actually work though, guys. If you're trying this, maybe give it a few goes to see if it does the same for you. As a lot of you guys knew, there's a ton of weird and creepy notes hidden around Brookhaven. Some of them reveal creepy secrets, and some of them reveal weird stuff about the agency. So let me show you a few 
of these creepy notes I thought were pretty damn cool. One of the easiest notes to find is in this RP house right here. All we need to do for this note is run downstairs and make ourselves super small. Now run into the staircase and you'll see a hidden note left by the one and only Madison. She's talking about the agency's power growing. Maybe this was written a while ago before the agency was super powerful like it is today. Another super easy note to find is inside this house. We just need to go to the bottom floor and next to these missiles we can walk through the wall. From here we can keep walking through walls until we bump into this other creepy note. This one's explaining that someone's seen the agency's practices and they no longer want to be a part of the agency anymore. Does this mean the agency used to do super weird and mysterious stuff to the Brookhaven population? Let's just keep looking. One of my favorite notes actually involves the Brookhaven police station. I believe I showed you guys this note before, but all we need to do is go through the vent in the jail cell and walk through this wall. Here we'll find a secret key card which is used to unlock the electricity room. Once we grab this card, run over to the electricity room and type in your username as the password. Now it should say password approved. Also if you guys want to join me in game make sure to follow my Roblox profile. I've made it so anyone who follows me can join me in game, so make sure to do that. Now once you've typed in the password you can flick this switch which allows you to find some extra secrets. Now run over to this area next to Lake Madison and click this button. When you click it it doesn't make a sound, but it does activate something trust me. Run over to the town hall and flick these three switches over here. Also don't forget to flick on this danger switch, as this is the switch that activates the notes we need. Now run over to St. Luke's Hospital, and once you're in the x-ray room, click this little button under the desk. This will teleport you to this carbon block and a bunch of other secrets. Here we can see a note on the wall along with Mr. Brookhaven's son looking right at me. And on the other side, there's another note left by the agency which talks about a bunch of agency stuff. This carbon block was also featured in the previous update at the end, so it might even mean something special. Anyway, the last note I want to show you guys is actually in one of the motel rooms. First click this agency paper, then get the secret library book and run over to the second room of the motel. A lot of you guys probably already know about the note in the wardrobe, so I won't go over it too much in this video. But did you know there's also a secret note hidden behind this chair? There's also a secret note when we click the painting, explaining that this room is from the future. Does that mean Brookhaven will look like this in an upcoming update? That's super weird. A lot of you guys know that with the VIP Game Pass, we have access to a bunch of cool effects for our avatar. And while these effects are super cool, we need to spend a whopping 1,000 Robux to unlock them. But luckily for you, I've got some effects we can use for free using some in-game items. This ID right here will get you this super cool blue flamed helmet. This is actually my favorite item I've showed you guys so far. It's actually so cool to look at. By typing in this ID, we'll have this weird looking Dorito that has some tasty particles around it. This item will probably turn you guys into a Dorito Lord, so watch out for that. This ID right here will unlock you a marshmallow on fire. This thing kind of looks creepy, so you might be able Able to use it for a horror avatar. It literally has no face at all. By typing in this ID, you'll unlock a snowman with a fireplace stuck on its head. It looks a lot cooler in the snow. This is really giving me a Christmassy vibe. This ID right here is one of my favorites. It gives me a super cool Valkyrie hat that gives off three special particles. When I run it literally leaves an orange trail behind. This really makes us look like the richest player in the server. This ID is also super cool. This gives us access to this super cool flames on our shoulders which also works underwater. There's a ton more IDs out there. You guys just need to look for some we can access for free. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and watch another video on screen. Bye, Bye. guys!